This video is one of several resources provided to District of Columbia Schools by OSSI, the Office of the State Superintendent of Education, to assist all schools in their planning and implementation efforts. This video, along with the OSSI School Planning Guide, provides school teams with content, tools, and exercises to complete their school plans and establish routines to monitor implementation progress. The second of the five phases of the guide is setting goals, which requires that you ask the critical question, what are we trying to do or achieve? There are two activities for teams to complete during this phase. Review past performance to determine root causes, in which your team will look at student outcomes and implementation data to determine the factors that have led to the successes and challenges your school currently faces. Decide on your goals, when your team will select two to three goals that will help you focus your improvement efforts in the upcoming year. There are a few questions to consider when reviewing past performance. In what academic and non-academic areas is the school doing well? Where is the school falling short? Include an analysis of formative and summative assessments, culture and climate data, attendance data, teacher evaluations, and family engagement. Which student subgroups are performing well? Which are not? Which existing interventions are having an impact based on data? Which are not? As a result, what are the biggest needs of teachers and students in our school right now? Once you establish a shared understanding of successes and challenges at your school, you are ready to identify the most important two to three goals to achieve this coming year. These are the ones you want every staff member in the building to know and support, in addition to parents and other community stakeholders. We can turn to an example of one school that used goal setting to focus its efforts on the most important elements of school improvement. Back in 2004, Smoky Road Middle School, a Title I school in Georgia, was faced with significantly low student performance. The school's principal, Lori Barron, knew that she needed to make some major changes, but wasn't sure where to start. She recognized that she needed to focus the school on a few areas of improvement to make progress. Principal Barron focused the school on four goals in sequential order over a span of eight years. One, getting kids to school. Two, keeping kids safe. Three, building relationships and four, focusing on teaching. By the end of Principal Barron's tenure, Smoky Road Middle School students were achieving above the state average and the school eliminated achievement gaps for students with disabilities in math. In addition, Principal Barron was named the MetLife Middle School Principal of the Year in 2013 based on her work in the school. This is just one example of how focusing on a few targeted goals can make a big difference. The most effective goals are SMART. By that we mean specific. The goal is clearly defined, straightforward, and easily generated without complex calculations. Measurable. It is easy to measure using agreed upon methods and benchmarked against reliable data. Attainable. It represents transformative change, but reflective of what has been achieved elsewhere with hard work. Relevant. It is connected to the strategies in your plan and reflective of the needs of students in the school. Time bound. There is a clear deadline and progress can be measured at a frequency that will allow for regularly monitoring and problem solving. Once you have drafted your goals, the school team should engage other stakeholders, such as school staff, parents, and community members to share their ideas and request feedback. And while every school context is different, here are some example goals other schools have used. College and career readiness. 80% of students who take an advanced placement AP course will score a three or above on the AP assessment each year. Growth. 80% of students in grades three to eight will show improvement based on their math or English language arts index value. Attendance. 94% of our students will attend school each day during the school year. 
Now it's time to get to work on phase two. Refer to phase two, setting goals, and the Aussie School Planning Guide for the suggested data analysis, exercise guide, and template.